Det var du din tinne. Jag blir på av dig. Wicked man. You know, the, the um, king, the king man. I want to say big shout out to Sack. You know, wonderful guy. I remember him sending me a voice note saying, "Thank you, my brother, for putting me on this record. It could have been someone else, but you decided to ch- you you chose you went you chose me." Wow. And I was like, "Oh wow, okay, Sack." <laughs> <laughs> you know, thank you very much for being on the song as well. And you know that Nigeria Ghana thing it is 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 a marriage that is a, a jealous one. Okay. But you're not gonna lie. The love is you love. You still you love who you love. It's like a boyfriend. I, I said it in some other interview. It's like a jealous boyfriend and girlfriend situation. You know, deep down I know I love you, but I'm a bit jealous about what you do and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday we were having a conversation about the evolution of Ghana music in Nigeria. Okay. And it's 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 sad that a lot of Ghanaians don't even see. It. They don't know. That's why they. The whole compare and contrast thing keeps going on and on. You know, at a point, we had this conversation till like, till like what time? Like two, three a.m. You know, I was telling to so offer was that I was just telling them, and they were shocked. I said at the point, though Nigerians are extremists. When we decide to move, we we'll move. You see, our country, we've decided to change the country, and everybody's moving. That is Nigerians for wow. you. There was a time. The biggest TV program in Nigeria was called Music Africa. You can right. take notes of all these things and check. Right. And Music Africa was produced by Philip Trimnell. You know, I was very young then, but I, I have a very good idea of um, how it was then. Music Africa plays the biggest and the best videos and music. You know that's why it's called Music Africa right. across the continent. So everybody want to watch Music Africa on Silverbed from maybe like 12 to 2 2 p.m. Right. every day. Right. You know, so it was a big deal, pretty much big deal. And I remember the best visuals, the best videos are from Ghana. Right. Ibrahim Onijan. We're talking about not just videos. Though. Now me being a ghetto boy, you know we do street carnivals. A lot during December and parties as well. When it comes to the the highlight of every party is when we go into that Ghana temple. It's it's always a rave. Now I'm talking about songs like um, you start with Tic Tac Kangaroo. Right. That was a big one. Too much. You know. Then you come to VIP. Straight. I'm coming. Huge. You come to Miss Bell, I'll be 16, huge. You come to Prior, huge. I'm not talking, there's a huge difference between being big and huge. Right. Huge. <laughs> massive. Gigantic. Babani, massive. You come to check it out now. You may kiss your bride. Mm-hmm. Oh, these are big records. You talk about Sikili Tele, Ten Tele, these are huge songs. Even down to one corner. You know, and no kissing. You know, so when you talk about these collaborations, they are, they are all, all the music itself, it's it's huge. And I don't know if, because when I was telling them yesterday, I find something funny in their reaction. It felt like they were shocked that I know all these songs. Hmm. Like, how did you know all these songs? I said, bro, these songs were big. When I mean big, I'm talking about if it was Billboard chart, you see number one. Straight. Yeah, number two, number top, top ten. You know, these were big records. Uh, I don't think even maybe the artist even knew how big they were there. <laughs> you know, so for 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 us or for me, if I speak for myself, um, for every market or every territory that I know, I'm a household name. I try to, I try to make sure is is a forever thing. I try to make sure there's a follow up. You know, I try to make sure yes, the stamp is there, like we're there. You know, there's no going back. You know. But you lived in Ghana yeah. and you knew all of these big songs. And even living in Nigeria or a Nigerian kid that had come to the country to survive and better yet, well, got yourself way up to the top by God's grace. Yeah. Knowing all of these things and knowing that, wow, these songs were blowing up, what do you think Ghanaians did wrong to lose that grip? 
Um, I, I don't think I don't think any group was lost because I just VIP had their time because they were coming to Nigeria. They were with, okay. they were with the right management okay. and aside even the management, they would love to. <clears throat> sorry, they would love to come to Nigeria because their songs were playing in Nigeria. You know, it's like saying my song is huge right now in 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 Brazil. I want to go to Brazil. That's the next thing I'm thinking of. Okay. You know, I want to know why the song is big. I want to go there and meet people. I want to go there and meet the fans, connect with them. You know, that's that's the right thing to do. You know, so I don't know if they did not capitalize on the buzz or they didn't know how big they were. Because prior man, till date, if you play everywhere, I would see it. Straight. And then they like everywhere. Like I'm telling you, like play even five five. But all these songs, I knew them here, but in Nigeria, it feels different. Okay. Even before I came to Ghana, most of the songs I mentioned were, were huge. And this is not those songs that are common. Yeah. Most of the songs I mentioned were huge. And this is not those songs that come, not like songs that do, do play for two months, three months. I'm talking about songs that will play for three, four, five years. Every carnival is a shut down when they switch to that tempo. Wow. Yeah. Stay with us, listeners. I'm Yo, guys, thank you for watching this video. But the question is, do the Nigerians, some of the Nigerians, do some of them see it like this? Because uh, as for Ghanaians, I'm sure they always love Nigerians. You see, the problem that I said Ghanaians that they, we have is that we love foreigners. You understand me? And it's really affecting us. Yes, we should love ourselves. You see. We should love ourselves as Ghanaian. We should love ourselves, but I can see Ghanaians they have much love for foreigners than their their own people. Yes, that's how I'm saying it. But I'm not trying to create any confusion here. Just trying to make Ghanaians know how it's supposed to be. Because some of Nigerians on my uh, platform here, they don't. I can see they don't have any love for Ghana and the rest. You see. Ghanaians they love them but I can see that they are not having they don't have any love for Ghana. That's how I'm seeing it. But if it is not so, let me know in the comment section. How do you also think about this issue that Paturanke is saying that Ghana and Nigeria they love each other but just on the low, like just that they are always jealous whenever other one is successful and the rest. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you once again. I'm a mem. If you are new to this channel, subscribe like comment yes let me know i'm a mem i'm out